Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is subacute sclerosing pain encephalitis, uh, which is known as also known as SSPE. And but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Now I come to the topic. Uh, what is subacute sclerosing and encephalitis? You know, well, you know, it's a brain disorder, and uh, it progresses, and uh, it's uh, typically it's fatal. You know, and uh, an abnormal reaction by your immune system uh, to the measles virus, you know, uh, the rubella, is likely to cause it. You know. And uh, it causes inflammation, swelling, and the irritation of your brain. And uh, it may occur years after, uh, after you have, uh, you recover from your measles, you know. And it's a rare disease, you know. And it usually occurs in children and maybe in the adult sense, you know. And it's more common in the males if compared to the females, you know. And uh, where your children are, you know, in advanced countries where your children routinely receive the measles vaccine, the incidence is uh, less than 10. For example, I'll give you the example in the, uh, the statistics in, in the United States shows that it's less than 10 per year, you know, in whole the country, you know. And the same in the uh, uh, Europe or uh, any other developed country, you know, where the statistics are available. You know. And uh, in the countries that uh, lack the standard immunization programs, the incident is higher, you know, like in developing countries, you know. And the immunization against the measles virus is the only way to prevent this condition. And if you uh, contract the measles, uh, you won't necessarily develop this condition, you know. But in fact, the most people who get the measles never develop this condition and uh, the experts are still studying why it develops you know and they don't have any definite answer at the moment you know but the many believe that this is caused by the abnormal immune response to the measles virus or possibly mutated forms of the viruses you know and uh, but there isn't any scientific evidence so far you know the next thing what are the symptoms you know well the symptoms may include like the gradual changes in your behavior you know or maybe the unusual behavior, or dementia, or lethargy, or muscle spasm, or jerking, you know, and uh, tense of the, like, uh, uh, legs muscles, you know, or maybe the uh, weakness in the legs, or the seizures, or maybe the coma, you know, so there are multiple uh, kind of uh, symptoms, you know. And if you're experiencing seizures, you need to uh, take the precautions to avoid the injuries that may occur during them, you know. The next thing is how do doctors diagnose? Well. After asking you the medical history, the forming a physical examination, uh, your doctor will check the signs for like uh, uh, damage to the optic nerve, you know, or maybe the muscle twitching, you know, or maybe the damage to the <clears throat> like uh, uh, retinas in your eyes, you know, or maybe uh, the poor performance of the movement or the coordination test, you know. So your doctor will check the signs like this one, you know, and uh, then he may order the additional tests like uh, uh, electroencephalogram, you know, MRI, or maybe the spinal tap test, you know, and uh, as like a serum antibody treatment, you know, which is a blood test to check the previous measles infection, you know. So these are the multiple tests which your doctor will order to confirm the diagnosis. And once diagnosed then, uh, uh, well, In fact, there is no cure, you know. Uh, but your doctor can prescribe some antiviral medications too that may slow the progression of the condition, you know. And uh, they may also prescribe like uh, anti convulsant drugs to control the seizures, you know. So there is no cure, but the doctor can prescribe the medications to control the symptoms, you know, or to reduce the symptoms, you know. And uh, the most people with the die within one to like uh, 
one to three years, you know. Yeah, but some can live long. And the next question is, well, how to prevent that, you know. Well, the only way to prevent is to get the measles vaccine, you know. Now, there is no other way. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And uh, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And the subscribe button is just below this video in the description area. Thank you. Goodbye.